You are the type of player that can change the game with one swing of the bat. You're walking to the plate. What's more important there, being aggressive or being patient? <laughs> I'll never get used to that. <laughs> you know, I mean, you go into that at bat, um, you know, trying to be patient, trying to get your pitch, and, um, you know, you, you got to be okay with taking a walk and passing the baton, and uh, fortunately, I, uh, I got my pitch. We were just talking about your swing earlier today. Three straight games with a multi-hit performance. Where are you most locked in at the plate right now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you know, obviously I had a tough series in Milwaukee, and, uh, you know, I wanted to change that um, coming home, obviously against a great opponent in the Braves. So um, got in the cage, um, you know, worked with Brownie, worked with Mabes, and, um, you know, got it, got it ironed out and, um, you know, slowed down the game a little bit. You have talked about how much you have enjoyed being a part of this team, how comfortable you have felt in the clubhouse. I know it has been a short amount of time, but where do you feel you've grown the most as a player since putting on that uniform? Yeah, I mean, just becoming an all-around baseball player, you know. Um, the, the guys in the clubhouse, you know, my teammates have, you know, helped me, um, you know, hold me accountable and, and push me forward. And um, same thing about the coaching staff, you know. It's just been, um, it's been a really awesome experience for me, and, you know, I'm happy to call Miami home. Whether it was Jacob Stallings last night, Yuli Gurriel hitting that huge home run in the first inning, you're coming through with that big hit in the eighth. How would you describe the way that just different guys have stepped up every night? Yeah, you know, that's uh, that's what I've been saying since I got over here. You know, there's resilience, and, um, you know, it doesn't matter one through nine. You know, you, you always have that feeling that somebody's going to come up and uh, do something really special. Brian, first off, uh, just what's your biggest takeaway from this after maybe struggling in that first inning, bouncing back and being able to do for your team what you did? Yeah, like you said, I was glad that I was able to bounce back. Um, I think I was six pitches in with three runs. It's not the way you want to start any game, let alone against this team, like, like the Braves. Um, and I knew it was, a, it was a bullpen day as it was, so I was able to provide length for the team. Um, you know, we had that first mound meeting. It was like, I'm sitting there thinking, I, I got to find a way to get at least three or four here for the team or else we're going to be hurting. So I was able to bounce back, which was nice, uh, especially after that shaky start. How much did them scoring those four runs help you get back into it? I'd say it definitely helped. Uh, anytime you get run support like that, it kind of takes a little bit off your shoulders and you're able to kind of relax a little bit and not, not press too much and try to be perfect. Um, so when they were able to put up four runs there in the first inning, I was able to kind of get back into a little bit of a groove um, and find a way to, to kind of keep rolling. Obviously, that lineup is not easy to face, but be able to do what you did after those first four, I think all but one down the stretch. What does that do for you? What did you prove to yourself being able to do that against this lineup? Yeah, I think it shows that I can compete with, with the best. Um, it's my third time facing this team, uh, one of the best offenses in baseball. And um, the fact that I was able to go out there and, and bounce back and at least provide, you know, four and, four and third innings for our team. Um, I mean, and the, and the run support was huge, too. I mean, guys made great defensive plays. Hampson had a great catch. Um, Jazz had a great catch in the outfield. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was a good win. Have you found that your mentality has stayed the same, whether it's coming out of the pen or starting a game, or do you feel like maybe there's a little bit more amped up when you're, when you're starting? Yeah, it's tough. I don't... I wish I could put, you know, put it into words. Um, so obviously I've done both this year and I've had struggled a little bit more starting and sp specifically that first inning, uh, especially against this team. I mean, the first inning against this team, they've put up m numerous runs on me. They come out hot. That's what they do is, you know, Mel said that they're going to be swinging early because they know me and they know me pretty well. And so after that first inning, I was able to locate a little bit better and not find the heart of the plate so much. Um, and it helped me out a lot. But I think overall, it's still just one bat, one bat hitter at a time, one batter at a time. I'm trying to look too much into the future of the, of the at bats, but um, yeah. Did any of the guys, I guess, whether it was before the bottom of the first or after you'd given up a couple of those home runs, like tell you, hey, we got you, or this and that, or just you know anything? Yeah, that mound visit. Um, Louis Arias had great words. He goes, "You're the best." He goes, "Don't worry about it. You're the best. Keep doing what you do. You do. It, you did. It, you've done it all year." And hearing it, something like that from Louis, who's had a tremendous year and the hitter who he is, I was able to kind of take that in and say, "Okay, like these guys still have my back. Like they're not, you're not, you know, checking out on me just because I gave up three runs." Um, so hearing that from Louis definitely gave me some more confidence to go out there and keep pitching. Two huge wins against a team that have been a really tough matchup throughout the course of the season. What have these first two games? just either reinforced or showed you about this group of guys? 
Well, I, I've always thought that these guys could play with anybody. Um, it's just up to them to uh, figure that out uh, sooner than later. Um, luckily, it was middle of the year that they figured out that they could play with anybody. Um, and I think this is just confirmation that they can play with some of the best in the league. Um, this team has handled us a whole year, uh, handled the league all year, honestly. Um, and we knew that, you know, it was, it's not like we're going to shut them out. We had to fight back and, and keep punching back whenever they um, scored and um, and they fought back. I honestly didn't know how we were going to get through this game, uh, you know, at, at the start of this game with Hoeing uh, just pitched a, a day or so ago um, and uh, having a bullpen day with no true length in the bullpen. Um, so and then he gave up three runs in the first inning, almost 30 pitches. And for him to go four and a third for us right there, I mean, I know the hitting was we scored 11 runs and we had 15, 13 hits. But if Hoeing doesn't do that, I don't know where we're, where we're at right now. So it was a, it was a huge, huge uh, four innings for him to get through that. Well, and how much credit do you give to the offense for being able to pick him up in the bottom of the first and maybe kind of reset the game in a way for him? Yeah, I mean, Yuli has had at spot starts. I mean, he hasn't been starting much or playing much. Um, but we've run into a lot of right-handers lately. Um, the guy's always ready. I haven't, I haven't heard any complaints. He's helping all the young guys. You hear Sanchez talk about him and DLC talk about him. And um, for him to come up and uh, you know hit a three-run home run in the first inning was uh, was huge for us. I put him right in the four hole. Um, and, you know, like when you get to September, that's the whole thing is like when you're in this playoff push or even in October, I mean, you, you look at his stats in October last year, you can throw the stuff away. Like he was like one of the best players in the postseason last year or in the World Series. And this is that's what I'm saying. Like it, this, there's different games right now and you can throw all those stats away. It's like who has a slow heartbeat? Who knows uh, how to produce uh, in big situations? Who's been there before? Um that guy knows what winning looks like, and he comes up every time and uh, in a big spot. It feels like in leverage situations, really all year. But um, right now in September, less, you got you want those guys in those spots. And he uh, he came up big today. Made a nice play, um, you know, down the line off Pilar. That I mean, things could have changed in a hurry there. Um, Soriano gave, gave us some great innings, but I think it was against Soriano. You don't know what that does. Lead off double down the line. Yuli makes a great play. Um, so yeah, I just uh, you know we've had we had some really good offensive out, uh, days today, but I thought Yuli kind of set the tone there. With Hoeing after those first four batters, what did you see different from him that allowed him to settle in and do what he did against that line of the rest of the way? Yeah, I think he threw it in the heart of the plate. Honestly, it's just what it was, just a little bit up in the heart of the plate. Um, you know, when he's doing well, it's his sinker's playing, a lot of balls on the ground, um, you know, sinker slider combo. I thought his changeup ended up getting better as the game went on um, to neutralize, you know, some of those lefties. Again, we know that what that lineup is, and without Acuna, it's still ridiculous. Um, there's just no easy lanes for him. There's no breathing room. Um, so it, you know, for him to get through that with only three runs after that start um, says a lot about him. And the dugout, I guess, that, you know, before the burger at bat ends, what's this feeling? Is it almost like, oh, it's going to happen? Like at this point now for you guys? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of said this, um, you know, the last few months is like once you start – you know, getting these come from behind wins, you just feel like it's going to happen against any team. I mean, um, that's one of the the better teams, obviously, in the league, um, if not the best team in the league right now. That you know, the way that the record shows and how they beat up on us all year. Um, but for for them to just um, feel like you know we're, we'll be all right. You know, it's we got our you know whoever coming up. It was Hampson Stallings yesterday. It's you know Berger and Jazz and Rise and you know today. I mean, it's just uh, it feels like that's how you win um, series is when it's like someone else every every game and it doesn't you don't have to just lean on one guy. Um, and you know obviously Berger. I mean those are that ball was hit pretty hard opposite field. I thought it was gonna like one hop the fence and it just like kept going. Um, and then Jazz, obviously, with the big blow, it was pretty good. Yeah, Jazz showing the all-around game, the grand slam, single, two walks, the team's three stolen bases, just showing everything that he can do today. Well, I, we we know the kind of talent you know he has. It's now, are you a winning player? It, there's a big difference, right? Oh, he's a talented player, but he doesn't help us win. 
is he a winning player with talent? And that's kind of, you know, our coaching staff is not going to stop until we have him become a winning type of player and, and him learning different things and to become a winning player. He's showing what that's what a wing player looks like, right? It's like the little things, just because you're hitting in the seven hole, um, it doesn't take you off your game. We need him to play against lefties because of that, right? A bunt single, a couple stolen bases, he's still in the game, a righty comes in, big blast. Um, so I, that's why he's in the lineup, and he's been working really hard against, you know, trying to figure out the left-handers. Our hitting group has been great. John Jay's been throwing to him. Machine, Mabry, Brownie, you know, different stance. Um, so he's he's working, and as soon as you're, you know, kind of comfortable, then it's, you're not going to keep growing. And um, you could tell that he wants to keep growing because he wouldn't change his stance and and try different things to try to um, hit lefties and and get in the lineup. We need him in the lineup. I mean, there's no secret to that. Um, so. I'm just proud of that. He's he's keep keeps working and changing, and it's it's September, and um and he's not he's not satisfied, which is great. Uh, Tanner talked about scones that he's had. The bases loaded, two outs in the eighth. He'll just get that first pitch round out, and then come back out in the ninth and say we can tell everything. There. Yeah, um, you know, I, I honestly. I get, I feel like I'm pitching him every day now, and um, and you know we're at the point of the season where you know every win you know matters and every game counts, and um, and I just felt like right there you know talking with Stott, um, you know if we're gonna try to win this thing, you know let's let's you know have him ready just in case. I ended up um, bases loaded after the hit by pitch, and um, just felt like if we we're gonna go down, let's go down with with Scott. Um, I, I don't even know what more to say about him. He is he's he's just incredible what he's doing, um, attacking the zone, um, going right after you, you know, my stuff against you, you know, let's see what you got. And that mentality I think has probably been the game changer. Belief is a powerful thing. And um it's just a mindset thing. It's not like mechanical or anything. It's just like I think he just he just believes he's he's the guy now and he's he's kinda of taken over that role and you know, honestly with a six run lead I it's still, you're still not comfortable, <laughs> so go back out there uh, against the Braves. Um, so that's uh, you know it's great to see him close it out. Sampson's contributions offensively and defensively, some nice plays for sure. Great plays at short, and like, like I've said before, you can play him in center, right, second, it's third. Um, we've played him everywhere. He's been so valuable for us. Um, you know, we have a bunch of utility guys. I feel like that I'm um, playing all over the place. Um, but yeah, it's just I feel comfortable when he's at bat, and um, he keeps producing. He's a smart baseball player, um, and he's a winning baseball player in my mind. And and um, yeah, he's made made some nice plays at short. He takes competitive at bats um, and helps you win games. And so that's kind of what you're looking for when you're building a roster. Luis, okay, you just took him out because of the score. Or? Yeah, yeah, he was uh, he he did enough today. Yeah. Five of his ten home runs have come in the month of September. I know he has talked about how he hasn't changed his approach or anything. Where do you think maybe that, that power surge is coming from? I don't know. I think when you're a good hitter um, and you keep, you know, developing your swing and, um, you know, you'll run into balls and as soon as you try to hit home runs, you'll fly out or top balls. And I think I think he'll hit more home runs the more he's in the league because he's such a good hitter um, that he's, you know, his, his swing and his – his batter in the zone for such a long time that um, he's quick enough to, to click some out of here. But as soon as he thinks that, he'll fly out. He knows that. Um, that's why he lined out to short the next at bat. And then he's like, you know, he hits one down the line. He, he can do whatever he wants with the bat. It's kind of crazy. Uh, I really haven't seen anything like it. But I think that he's not a power. I wouldn't call him the, a power hitter because he had five home runs. I think he's just a really good hitter that, um, you know, h h hits mistakes as hard as anybody. Jazz, I know you've talked about it, you know, just how hard you've worked to come back, the frustration through the injuries. What did it mean to you to be able to hit the first Grand Slam of the season for this team, just knowing how much work you have put in I to be able to? I didn't even know that, honestly. <laughs> I did not know that was the first Grand Slam of the season for us. But, uh, I mean, it feels great, you know, working, going through all the injuries, going through everything. I mean... It's hard to keep on going through injuries and trying to come back and help your team, you know, because you got to keep building up from like a little cool down session. But uh, I'd say man, it feels great, you know, especially how we're playing right now and how the guys are going right now. It just feels great. You could take a series against the Braves, still have a chance to sweep them tomorrow. What does that show about? 
this group right now, especially as you guys go down the home stretch here? I mean, it shows the fight we got. I mean, everybody uh, voted us to be last this year, and we just came out with a vengeance and had that fight in our heart that we're not going to come out here and we're not going to lay down. You know, we're not going to be bottom feeders every year. We're going to come out here and win. We got a new staff. We got Skip and Jay and Mabry and Brownie and everybody in there, and they've been really working with us every year. Uh, this is my fifth, fourth year, fifth year with the organization, and just seeing the work that we put in and the way these guys work every day is amazing. What was the atmosphere like for his home run and then just for you when you had your swing going Oh, up? man. I mean, even from the first at bat with Louis' home run, I mean, the atmosphere in here is electric right now. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, we love our fans, and they've been supporting us all year long, and we just want to keep on riding our wave and keep swimming, and hopefully they swim along with us. Three stolen bases today. I know, obviously, a big part of your game to be able to oh, start using your, your speed again on the base pads. Oh, I mean, yeah, my legs finally feel comfortable again. I feel like I can run again. My feet, my toe, my knee, my hamstring, <laughs> everything that's been going on. Everything today felt great, felt very loose. Uh, the training staff have been working hard with me every day. And I'm just happy to see that it's all coming back together. Is that the first time you've had it on your head? No, so uh, I think our last home game, my aunt, I went to my aunt's funeral right before the game. And I really still, like, get emotional about it. But, uh, I mean, she was really a big part of my life. And, I mean, right now I'm getting emotional about it. But, um, yeah, I mean, she means a lot to me. and. I'll keep that on for the next couple of years, honestly.